Hey, hello everyone, I'm David Guerrero and welcome back to another video here on Many Ways Films. In the video of today, I want to talk about Nikon's firmware update. It's been three months since they updated it. This is firmware 1.40, not 1.40, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But like I said, it's been three months since they updated the firmware and I made a video the next day uh, after they uh, updated it. And now after a while, again, three months, I would like to tell you what I've noticed. Um, yeah, things that, things that I have noticed uh, when it comes to autofocus um, mainly, because that's, that's what it was focused on and what people wanted to know more about in the first place. One of the first things that I wanna talk about is when the camera is not doing the best in autofocus. And this is something very specific because I consider Nikon C6 II and even C6 to have uh, decent autofocus, but C6 II, I, I really like its autofocus. Maybe because I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm used to Nikon's system I think that this is a really good autofocus. I don't have any problems really ever. And I wanna tell you when I have had problems, problems, how I've been able to fix those. Uh, and the first one is that this firmware update, what it did is that made subjects in the center of the frame easier to focus than subjects that are on the sides of the frame. Most of the time, if not always, I have my autofocus set to full-time autofocus and I have uh, face uh, priority and eye priority set up. So right now it's trying to focus primarily my eye and then if it cannot get my eye, it's gonna try to focus on my face. And even with eyes, it can detect it pretty far away especially when the subject is on the center of the frame but that doesn't mean that when it's on the on the sides of the frame it's not gonna do a good job and we can do that like right now and for i don't know we can put this on the center on the of the frame and then have me on the side so it's gonna prioritize eyes and phase detection I can't even see myself now. There we go. So even though you can barely see me there, you can do the same with, with my hand. We can cover most. So there we go. It's kind of hard to do this, but you get the idea. So you can see what I mean. And this can be an, an issue, but I mean, there is a fix for this. I'm going to be showing you right now on the screen. So if you're listening only, you might want to pay attention to this. You're going to want to go into your camera and you're going to leave the shutter half pressed. So that's going to, that's going to keep the, the focus where it was. So if your subject is moving, isn't, isn't moving or it's in a, on a very specific place, but there's like things going in front of the camera. You can just like keep this pressed. And as you can see here, it's not gonna focus anything but my face. And I have the shutter half pressed. So we're gonna put this right here. If I let go of the shutter, then it's gonna focus on the lens. Now I'm gonna leave it on the shutter and it's focused on what it was before in the center of the frame. But if I let go, then it's gonna try to prioritize on my face. So that's one of the fixes that I have for an apparent issue that you might have. And I don't know, <laughs> for me, it's kind of harsh or you have to be very, uh, very high critic to go after something like this. Um, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I don't find it a problem on the autofocus. I mean, you're saying that, that the autofocus is terrible? No, I mean, come on. 
you can have press the shutter and the issue is fixed. I don't see it an issue. You have different modes that you can set uh, for this camera. And I wanna show you one of them right now. I can do it even without looking at the screen. So I'm gonna press the OK button and it's gonna have the focus center, uh, well, in the center of the screen or the center of the frame. So if I move to, if I move to the side, then uh, it's not gonna focus me. I have to come back to the center of the frame, but that's how I set it up. <laughs> so again, now let's go all the way. Now the focus of the camera, it's all the way there. So all the way to my left. So if I'm on the center, it might not even focus me. But if I come all the way here, it is going to focus me because that's where I want my focusing to be. So again, not in the middle, not on the other side, but all the way to my left. And we can change that right here again. Let's go all the way. Let's go all the way to my right. So now I'm on the center. Not really. Let's put my hand. Oh, wait, it's focusing on my hand. If I come here, it's going to focus me. So hold on. if you don't want this to keep happening like if you don't want your uh, focus to be in a, on a specific area because now I have it set it up for the center so that means that if I move to the side if I move to the sides then it's trying to focus the chair or whatever it's on the center of the frame so you don't want it just press you know in the camera there's a zoom in button then just hit the zoom out which it will be that one so now i can come to this side i can come all the way to this side up down it doesn't matter where i move it's not gonna prioritize my hand either it doesn't matter if it's closer to the camera because i have it for face priority now it's full time autofocus, so it's constantly all the time trying to focus or focusing. In my experience with the C62, and especially with this 1.40 firmware, it works. It works just fine. Um, I have no complaints, not even on dark environments. I'm gonna tell you. Sometimes, if the highlights are too high and the shadows are too dark, you might have out of focus problems. Well, it's one of those that you can just fix by properly exposing your image. That's one. I mean, if you are on a car, for example, and you want to film the driver, but the highlights are too high outside of the car, then your exposure is not correct. You have to expose for your subject. Like you've seen throughout the video with many of, uh, of the examples of videos and stuff. And you can see on my channel, I mean, you can see the video, the videos that are like as today, those are firmware 1.40. And it says Nikon, Nikon video, Disney World, all of those videos, they were shot with the newest firmware on the C62. I made a, an hour and a half video of my trip with the C62 with a 28 millimeter 2.8, which is not even the fastest lens. Um, and it just focused fine. No problems, really. Not even in dark environments. I'm not trying to say that this is the greatest camera or that you should buy it, but if you're considering an autofocus, it's one of the problems or you think it might be an issue. Uh, I don't think so. 
but I would recommend you see more videos, listen to more people, and at the end, take uh, the best decision. Uh, I think Nikon has the best colors of pretty much any mirrorless camera there is right now, and even DSLRs. So let me know what you think down here in the comments. I'll be happy to answer of any of your questions. Um, so thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.